In this Excel 2013 tutorial, let's focus on formatting particular text a certain color. So in this uh, Republican convention, we have different famous guests. However, uh, Obama and his uh, twin brother are trying to get in, but uh, they've been blacklisted. I'm going to highlight these student names, and I'm going to be applying some conditional formatting. So click here in the Home tab, and we're going to apply some highlight cell rules for text that contains. So if the text contains the last name Obama, then this convention unfortunately uh, is not uh, quite favorable to these uh, people with this last name, Democrats in particular. So here we can see that the text that uh, we're looking for is Obama, and it doesn't really matter if it's uppercase or lowercase, so I'll just type in a lowercase just to show you that this is, is the case. And by default, it's light red, and you can see it's already highlighted. But let's just change it to something that of our own. I'm going to go to Custom Format, and I'm going to choose a nice uh, fill color. You can just choose uh, red for uh, reject, rejected. And if you want to be fancy, you can even change the fill effects to some kind of shaded version. So I'm just going to go red as my color one, and orange. And let's just go uh, buck wild here. Diagonal sounds interesting. I'm going to click on OK. So this is the OK button is down here. And so we have a nice custom fill color. I'm going to change the font color to bold. And I think that'll be good. So let's just click on OK. And OK. So there we go. We can see it's very customized. We have this uh, nice. Uh, flagged uh, last name all right next challenge is to apply to this data these different student grades icons data bars and we're gonna fill in the color the background color of these cells that achieve a 90% or greater so let's do that let's highlight this information here these are the student grades and go to conditional formatting and let's uh, look at these icon sets there's a bunch of different icon sets, quite interesting. I'll just use this one here. These, uh, these look like uh, stoplights. Green meaning higher, red meaning lower. So I'm going to just choose this. Quite interesting. Data bars. So let's go to conditional formatting. And we can even have data bars. And uh, you can have shaded ones. You can have solid fills. Quite interesting. I'll just choose this one for now, solid fill. Now these data bars kind of remind me of uh, sparklines, but uh, these data bars is applied to uh, a group of information where you're comparing them relative to one another. Whereas sparklines, this is the way it works, I'm going to go to insert. Sparklines are over here beside the charts. If I choose column, for example, uh, it's going to ask me where I want the sparklines to be placed. So I'm going to place it down here underneath everything and click on OK. Sparklines is more about summarizing in one cell a group of information. Whereas here, the data bars are actually just placed within each individual item and showing the relative performance right within that cell. So let me just press Control Z to forget about the sparklines for now. Let's um, apply one more conditional formatting. Conditional formatting will say that we'll go to Highlight Cell Rules. If the student gets greater than, we'll just say 90, 90, and then we're going to highlight the background yellow. So let's go to custom format and choose the fill color to yellow, and then click on OK, and then OK. So you can see that a number of things are going on here, and it's, and it's getting quite messy. So there's this nice option to stop processing these uh, formatting rules. These uh, bars, these green lights, these icons, these uh, conditional formattings brings particular attention uh, visually, but sometimes it can get overwhelming. So it's good that we can actually stop these rules. So with this uh, data selected, you must have this selected. If we go to conditional formatting and manage rules, you can see that there's a certain order of the different three different uh, rules applied.
whether it's greater than 90, whether we have the data bar or the icons, and it applies to this highlighted range, we could stop the formatting, the additional formatting immediately if it's true. So that's the case. If we want to stop right away after it's colored yellow, we can click on this little checkbox here and these two additional formatting rules will no longer apply. In fact, if you click on a, one of these rules and you hit the down arrow, you can change the priority so that you can say, no, I want my data bars to be the first thing that's formatted and I want to stop right here if it's done. Now, actually, this uh, ability to stop this data bar rule does not apply because it's, uh, it's uh, something that uh, is always uh, shown. It's displayed. It's, it's just showing the, the actual um, percentage of, as to how big uh, this number is compared to the others. So when it comes to being able to choose whether you can stop or not, it has to be something that uh, is uh, based off a clear condition such as if the cell value is greater than 90 or 70 or 60. So if you create your own custom rule using a, some kind of conditional, then you'll have the ability to select this stop or not. So I'm just going to leave this at the top here. I'm going to click on this, move it up, and I want to stop as soon as it's colored yellow. I don't want to bother adding these additional criteria. And one other interesting thing here is that when we choose this option, you can edit the rule. Let's go to edit the rule and you can see there's different rule types and this one here is format only cells that contain and what's nice about this is that you can also ch uh, change the condition rule uh, for the cell value not only greater than but also greater than or equals to and usually a definition of an a is 90 or above so we'll just choose that as the rule greater than or equal to 90 click on ok and click on apply or ok and you can see that for these two wonderful students, Elizabeth and James, uh, they did get o an A. And uh, notice how uh, their cells are automatically conditioned to be yellow. Uh, but uh, the, the icons and the data bars do not apply because we stopped the formatting. So the wonderful thing about Excel is it visually allows you to see things in a clear manner and not to be overwhelmed with information. And furthermore, if you change the information, if Elizabeth here dropped down on the final to a 75, you can see that all the f conditional formatting automatically updates and shows it to be the way it should be.